name's Johnny, and I make games. A bit overdue with this one, since uh, I spent the last week making tweaks to the latest one, the latest uh, Ludum Dare entry, which is number 51. So this is just a quick recap of 50, which I believe there's already a video for, but it's always good to look at a, a retrospective, I guess. Um, yeah, it's always interesting after some time has passed to then look back and see if you would have done anything differently now. So this was going back to only six months ago now. We're caught up. So I think in the final uh, final round of theme voting, I took out those 16 themes and just whipped up some ideas based on that theme. I don't know if we can zoom in on them. Oh, yes, we can. There you go. So <laughs> funny enough, this was the theme that ended up being picked. I didn't go with the uh, the stocks thing in the end. I think there was much in the game in it, but interesting. It's funny how these ones will keep coming up. Hmm. Hmm. I did a bunch of sketches and then it turned out that we did delay the inevitable as the theme and then a bunch of different ideas. Um, if I zoom in here, this is the, oh, can I zoom in a bit more? Oh, we've got some, what's that? <laughs> right, well, anyway, so this, this was the main one. This, um, God, when was this? April. Yeah, it was April time, I guess, yeah. Asteroid falling from sky. Oh, <laughs> I've finished cooking dinner before it hits. Uh, so this was the actual, um, what's the word? A previs. The concept art for the actual game. Bean person in a spacesuit with his big laser. And as you guessed it, it's a platform game. But this time you're shooting asteroids. So asteroids as a platformer. I never got around to adding the aliens or the space junk, I ran out of time. And so if I open up the folder, yeah, it's in date order. So I think because I had such a uh, a clear picture of what I wanted to do straight away, in that I wanted to have rocks falling and I wanted destructible scenery, like so. Oh, let's see. See if in the first two hours did I have a rough concept. And it looks like, oh, oh what? <laughs> what is this? Did you fire? Oh, that's interesting. You can't jump. And nothing's happening with the rocks, okay. Oh, blimey. Oh, I don't... What? What's going on here? Oh, he's not got any... Oh, I see. Interesting. Oh, I can shoot upwards. Well, that's pretty much, much the final game in the... Um, Physics-based asteroids fall down. As they collide with the ground, the ground progressively gets more destroyed. It's nothing as sophisticated as like a, a quad tree or something where um, things are iteratively carved out. Um, it's really rough, rough and ready. Uh, but yeah, now that works. So I think this is the final submitted version. Whoa. Whoa. Interesting. I didn't even realize there was another level in there. Okay. So you pick up the laser. Oh, ah. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about this. <clears throat> oh, we can pause it. In the uh, in the original published version, so the, the one that was submitted for the actual competition, you could pick up the laser, but you couldn't jump with it. So if you jumped, you'd drop the laser and it would fire uncontrollably. I did want to make that as a game mechanic. So then you threw the laser in the air to then hit stuff in a sort of a stylish fashion. 
but uh, important feedback from people playing it, it didn't seem like a very helpful thing to have and kind of made the game more frustrating to play. So if I show you again, just turn the volume down a bit. So you can pick up the laser, shoot, but if you jump, oh, he loses the laser. I think this was the final, final version. This is one, the one with the tweaks that fixed some of those issues. Oh, no. Oh God. Yeah, there were some cool things in this. I think uh, my favorite thing uh, was the portal. Um, uh, I don't want to find the, so, so yeah, this is quite interesting. This is the code to, um, well, I say code loosely. This is the um, sequence of events that then triggers off the uh, the lightning. So it goes for each falling object. If it's within a certain distance of the portal, it applies a force towards that thing. So the portal has like a gravity effect on it, effectively. And then it does a random roll of the die so it picks a number from one to a hundred randomly. If it falls in the upper 10%, then it will set a bunch of variables here. And with that variable, so what this is doing is it's picking a point in space at a random angle and a number of points. And what that would do is uh, originate a electric sort of lightning effect at a point and then what it will do it was it will move along at the initial angle so what it's doing is traveling towards a point in space but deviating slightly at each step along that journey towards that point so it's linear inter interpolation with some randomness as well to then give that effect so if i go back to the So yeah, that effect, that lightning effect is um, the way to show you. So it travels, it picks a point to end at, then travels randomly along that. And in fact, the, uh, the procedurally generated lightning looks better than the lightning I was trying to do in Blender. So that's pretty much it. I'll just have a quick look at the music and then that'll be another video done. going on here in terms of uh, oops shit stuff there's not a lot going on in terms of like filters and whatever else i mean this is pretty pretty raw i guess that's probably my favorite bit the uh the spacey the spacey bit with all the um i don't know if yeah this one so if i solo this so this is doing the note bends So on its own it sounds a bit trashy, but then when you play it in the context of everything else. It has that kind of um, 80s, well 70s, 80s sort of sci-fi aesthetic with the synths and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it I think. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, please do so I can hit 500 before the year's out. I'll get to digging through 20 hours of the video I recorded last weekend and then hopefully all the tweaks and stuff that I did post combo. But it should be slightly more interesting, I guess, because this time I've done a lot more with the 3D stuff to then make the characters, which is a, a consequence of um, Photoshop causing me grief and losing all my sprite sheets. So um, in a way it helped me. So yeah, um, was, yeah. I'll see you next time.